Good morning, beautiful ladies of my heart. I am going to dive into the very controversial skincare line. I call it skincare line with a little touch of color by Jones Road. Now I've purchased What The F Makeup in beige. They are no longer a, a separated mess like they were earlier. That had turned me off when I saw that, but then I was watching another one there where they show that it's they've changed the formula as far as the smell. Very, very light. I can hardly smell it. A little eucalyptus -y smell. So it's not overpowering in my opinion. It's only going to give you a light wash of color. So is it wonderful for mature skin? I've had laser and all of this stuff, but as far as hydration, this is amazing. Now you have to learn to put it on. You have to take it for what it is. It is not a full face foundation. It is a skin-like beautiful coverage. So I practice with it. I've got it down to where I can, you know, make it do and I look glowy all day. Is it worth the price? Let's find out. Okay ladies, my skincare. I've only done my actives and just my sheer, ultra sheer Neutrogena sunscreen in 60. It's like a serum as well, but I didn't apply any moisturizers or anything like that. That, that is the key, I believe. It seems to be the best application is the finger. Let's just do Lala's take on this controversial love-hate makeup. All right, so I'm gonna take my thinner and I'm gonna do a little dab, okay? Just little dabs all over. Maybe on my nose. Put it on my neck. I love the glow, but there's a way to make it work and still get the wonderful benefits without looking like a grease ball. I wear this or I just wear the Dusty Rose Balm. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. So let's just push this stuff in. Okay, that's basically it. It's a high price tint but it's full of moisturizing ingredients. And that to me is, is what I'm looking for in a tent. Now, yes, it's $44 for this, but the wear life is, it says a year. So this stuff will last you even longer if you're just using it as a tent and a skincare. That's what you gotta look at. If you're looking for makeup, full face, it's not gonna be your cup of tea. And if you have oily skin, not your cup of tea either. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take their Miracle Balm, the little dusty rose. You gotta push your finger in to break the seal. And now I'm going to place it places that I want a little color. This is all I'm gonna use on my skin. No bronzers or anything. Ticky tacky. Like having a little thin layer of, t of taffy on your face. No, it's not that bad. I, I'm just, boy, the ones that hate it, woo! I like to give everything a fair shake. I'm gonna go through and do my own little spot. So shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna put a little bit of it on my little flat brush, my Jessup brush. I'll put it on my back of my hand first. Go like that. Okay. I'm gonna go and do some concealing. I have still a lot of salt and pepper spots. They're, they'll be pretty gone after, the, after it's been two weeks since I had the laser. I am very red in this area. So I'm going right there. Okay. So, it has to be worth it, ladies, in order to make that kind of purchase. Because I bought this all on my own. I'm not sponsored. Okay, so that. Tints aren't full coverage, so you do have to add your concealer. Well, you don't have to. I do notice using it, ladies, <laughs> under my eyes, all day hydration. And you have to worry about separation because this is not a foundation. It doesn't set in any lines. It's just polished look, if you, if you will. So this is like a no, no makeup look. I'm gonna go off camera and do some light uh, eye makeup and lips and I'll be right back. Okay, beautiful ladies, here I am. I put on my eyes and lips. And for those of you that don't like so much glow, I'm taking my e.l.f. 
translucent powder. I'm just going to go in the T zone because I don't want any of the glow off of my cheeks. Just, and it's perfect for mature skin and we need hydration throughout the day without piling on a bunch of stuff. Okay, it to me is mildly, I mean, my hair would not, if I had hair, it would not stick in it. It's, it's in the application. Uh, some of these ladies have put just way too much of the products on and they've not powdered. It's all personal preference. Isn't that what it all is with all our makeup? I mean, it's not a lot of color. So what I'm gonna do, since it's not a lot of color, I am gonna add my own blush that I have by Essence. It's Baby Gut blush just to give me a little more color. I don't want you to rush out and buy this. There could be many different tint moisturizing makeups that you could use without the, the cost. A lot of women don't want to wear makeup at all because it sits in their fine lines. They're better off without it. If that's the case, tints or this Jones Road would be right up your alley. I wish they had a little tinier sample you know, little tiny sample jars so that you wouldn't have to buy the whole thing. This stuff will last forever. More to come with trying new makeups I've never tried. Jerome Alexander, their stackables. I can't wait to try those. And then a whoosh is coming and that is a full palette with eyes and everything. Anyway, I will come back later and show you how hydrated and lovely my skin still looks. Hello, voila, it's 4 p.m. I put this on at 9 a.m. Oh. It still looks like um, a flawless application. My skin looks hydrated and glowing. At least that's what it feels like to me. I am thrilled. I did apply a little more of the what the around the mouth and of course I had to do my lipstick again. But I'm thrilled for what I wanted. I want it to look like natural hydrated skin and that's what it does for me. A fancy hydrating skincare skin tint. But I'm, I'm really thrilled. You don't have any separation because it's not that full of a makeup. My eyes are so freaking hydrated underneath, you guys. I'm just really tickled on how it wears. I will continue to use it and when I get the other products, I'll see how I do with layering those on and still come out with a natural look. All right, everybody, have a wild and crazy day. More fun's coming. I think you know what.